Hi, I'm Gina. I'm Charlie. Each year on April 3rd, National Find a Rainbow Day, it challenges us to look up the sky and find the colorful ray of hope that's cast across it. Oh, a rainbow. Yes. There are people that see rainbows as an artistic masterpiece in the sky. To others, it's just a sign of hope. And to many others, a sign of promise. Oh, can it be all three? Yes, it can be all three. Beauty, hope, and promise. And that was quoted by Jill Magnus. I love rainbows. I do too. They're so beautiful. And I love all the colors. I do too. A spectrum of light in a form of a multicolored arc appearing in the sky is caused by both reflection and refraction of light in the water's droplets in the Earth's atmosphere. Woo! That was a lot to say. These rainbows always appear directly opposite of the sun. Oh, wow, that's interesting. That's a little bit of science, isn't it? Yes. So the light is refracted. Do you know what that means? No. Bent. So when it come, enters the droplet of water, then that's reflected inside of the back of the light of the droplet, and it's refracted again when it's leaving it. And that's what causes the rainbow. Oh, yeah. That sounds very interesting. Yes, it is. So red is the color that is visible on the outer part of the rainbow and violet on the middle or on the inside of the primary rainbow. What? <laughs> Let me say that again. Red is the color that is visible on the outer part of the rainbow and violet is on the inside of the primary cut rainbow. You know, the inside. Oh, I get it. Children learn this science mnemonic. I think that's how you say it. Roy G-B-I-A-V. What does that mean? Roy G-B-I-V. It's the colors of the rainbow in the order that it is. Oh, I get it. Red, orange, yellow, green. Blue, indigo, and violet, which that's me. Yes, you're the color of violet. That's true. So many forms of airborne water can cause rainbows, including rain, mist, spray, and dew. Dew? Yes, dew. So, Charlie, how are we going to observe the rainbow day? Find yourself the rainbow. Yes, Charlie, you can use a garden hose or a prism and make your own rainbow. Cool. Or you can take out your color crayons and color a rainbow. Yeah, put them in a cheerful place, sunny window, and maybe it'll brighten up someone's day as they pass by. Good idea. So you can create a rainbow as a part of a science project. We like science. Yes, we do. When is the best time to look for a rainbow? I don't know. When? Well, rainbows often appear after it rains and the clouds have cleared. The sun casts its rays through the remaining moisture in the air. The water in the air bends it's like a rainbow. It bends the light into its colors. You can also find a rainbow um, near the ground where the dew has formed. Or from a sprinkler. Have you ever seen a rainbow that comes out of a sprinkler or through the water as the sprinkler's coming down? I have. It's so beautiful. So, anyway... Um, you can also take a prism and cast a rainbow off of that.
I don't have the truth mom. Oh, I, neither do I, but it would be nice to have one, huh? We could see rainbows any day of the time. That is all, right? Yep, that's all we have today about rainbows. Cool. Y'all, be sure to toast your teachers on social media. Yes, use <laughs> National Find a Rainbow Day. Cast your colored pictures of rainbows and your pictures that you take of rainbows that you've seen after a storm. If it had been daylight yesterday and the storm came through, we probably would have saw us a pretty beautiful rainbow. Oh, I'd have loved to see that. So anyway, y'all toast your teachers on social media. And see you later. Bye. Bye. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Mwah.